you know, when I was doing that reading, when I was doing the reading of the opinion by Justice Scalia, I specifically and intentionally did not put it in a context of understanding specific treaties the United States has with other countries because of one of the things I actually mentioned and referenced in the argument, which is what made the argument an appropriate exercise of the Second Amendment consideration regarding preservation of self and the concept of engaging in matters of defense as an exercise of the Second Amendment. That's why you taking it and stealing it when you did is such an egregious harm because you already know about the 151 involved. And now that I've seen it on the internet and I've had some time to process it, what I believe is that the same gas and oil interests that were propping up the members of the Senate that thought that they were going to opportunistically avail themselves of what it meant that 13 people got processed by the DOJ on the day they did after a $130 million fee or penalty again against Deutsche Bank right on time for that this, this January 5th announcement regarding what? Anybody remember? Does anybody remember what the announcement on January 5th, 2021 was that had a 13 metric? I'm sorry. It has to do with international treaties, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And not regarding Iran, does it? Yes, it does. Yeah, I didn't take it there. It was already there. But what you want is you want to hijack that and allow the people who thought they were entitled to patent my property to make weapons for offensive, very, very, very offensive purposes. Use it to prop up people they won't even let me talk to. They've intentionally isolated and defamed my characterization as an attempt to impugn my character in violation of my Second Amendment. And the manners in which they did it constitute a violation of the 13th Amendment. And I'm going to prosecute Halliburton to the fullest extent of the law. And I'm going to prosecute every contractor and subcontractor with Halliburton that worked and conspired with them. And I'm going to prosecute everybody that abused the cover of sovereign immunity to co-conspire with them in every enforceable jurisdiction. Now, I don't think the American Constitution has jurisdiction in many of the countries of concern, which is why you should have stopped at the bottom of page 150 and not tried to bury the evidence. That's the only thing that would have saved your ass.